Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Catch You on the Pip Side. Today I'm going to show you how to install MetaTrader 5 to your computer and how to install all the indicators that we use for trading onto MT5 so that you can trade directly with your own broker on MT5 using your own broker's chart. So the first thing that we need to do is open whatever search browser you like to use and you just want to go to Google. And on Google, you're just going to want to do a search for MetaTrader 5. And once you've done that search, the first few things on the page are going to be ads. So just scroll down below the ads until you find the website for MetaTrader 5. And you can either open that website or right below it, it might say download and you can skip right to the download page. So either one works fine. Okay, so this is the page that you're looking for. I will drop the link to this into the Zoom chat so that you have it in case you just wanna go directly here from the Zoom chat. Okay, so there's that link. And depending on what type of computer you are on, you're gonna need a different download. So you might need to download it for a Mac, for a Windows, for a Linux. So whatever one applies to you, you're gonna download it. Once you click download, you're gonna see the like a little download window pop up at the bottom left-hand co corner of your computer, showing you the progress of the file downloading. And you're just waiting for that file to download so that you can open it. If you're on a Mac computer, when the file downloads, you're going to have to install the file into your applications folder, just like you do with most everything else that you um, download onto an Apple. So if I click on this right now, it's gonna open and it's going to give me uh, an option to drag this folder and put it into my downloads folder here in a second like this, or sorry, not downloads, applications. Okay, so you just click on the MetaTrader 5 logo and drag it and drop it into your applications folder. And I don't want to make a new copy, so I'm just going to say stop. But for you, that should be your first copy, so you shouldn't get that warning at all. Okay, so now you should have MetaTrader 5 installed on your computer, whether you're using a PC or a Mac, you should have it on your computer. And so now you're going to go find that folder wherever, you know, on your computer it is. So for me, it's in my applications on a Mac, I come into applications, here's my MetaTrader 5, and now I'm going to open it. And if you're on a PC, you'll just have to find it wherever things download to your PC and open it from there. Okay, now yours is not going to look like mine right now, so I'm just going to get rid of this so it looks more similar to what yours is going to look like. So when you first open this, you're not connected to any broker yet. So here you have a couple options. You are going to either log into a broker that you already have an MT5 account with, or you're going to... Sorry to interrupt, Teresa, you're not sharing the correct screen. We're seeing MetaTrader 5 trading platform. We're seeing where you downloaded the MT5 from still. Okay, here we go. Now you there should you go. see MT5. Thank you. Um, okay, so you have MT5 open, but you're not connected to a broker yet. So if you already have a broker that you use on MT5 on your phone, that means that you've already logged into a broker account on MT5 before. So you should have an email from that broker with your login information. So you could log in to that same account now on desktop MT5, and you can be logged in on both your phone and your computer at the same time. If you don't have an MT5 account, then you're just going to need to open a new demo account on MT5. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at file on the top left hand side of your computer, click on file, and then say open an account in that menu. And then when this opens, you're going to need to search for the name of your broker. So maybe you trade with Osprey. So you would search for Osprey in your list. And then here's Osprey LTD and you would press next and then depending on what um, you know what broker you have an account with you would go to the next screen. And then if you already have an account that you want to connect with you're going to click the box, uh, the circle at the bottom that says connect with an existing trade account. And you're going to log in with the information for that broker that you have in your email or on their website. It's really important that you remember where it down at the bottom where it says server, you need to switch to 
be live or demo, depending on what account it is, it won't let you log in to the wrong to the wrong one. So make sure you're on the correct server. And then you're going to press finish and you should log in and you should hear a nice little happy MT5 login sound. If you don't have an account already for MT5, click on the top circle that says open a demo account to trade with. And then you're going to press next. You're going to fill in your information, select the types of account that you want. Um, you might get an email sent to you with a code and you'll have to come back here and send the code. So, but most of you have done these same steps before. You've just done it on a phone instead of on a a computer, but really it's the exact same information. So once you have this all filled out and you press, I agree with the terms, you're going to press next. And then that broker might send you an email code and you'll have to come put it in up here and then you'll press finish and you'll be logged into a new, a new account. Okay. Now I'm just going to go open an account that I already have one with. Okay. Those are the happy MT5 sounds that I was talking about. When you're logged into an MT5 account, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you can see some green signal bars and a speed um, clock, I guess, telling you how fast your connection is. So that's how you'll know that you're connected to an account. Now, what you want to do is click on view and go to market watch. And then you're going to find a list of different pairs. Now, all your pairs might not show up on this list. So if they aren't showing up and you can't find US 30, I want you to right click on the list. And then in this list about halfway down, it says show all and click on show all. And now you can see every different pair that that broker allows you to trade. Okay, and so then on that list, you'll be able to find US 30. They are normally sorted in kind of categories. So you'll have your Forex pairs first, and then you'll have your, your stocks in this case, and then you'll have your indices, and then you'll have your commodities, et cetera. So you want to find US 30 on your list. And once you find it, okay, so like in this case, it's called DJ 30. Okay, and I'm going to drag it across and drop it here. And then you would have it, or I could drag across whatever, anything, Hong Kong 50, click on it, drag it across. So you just want to find your US 30 and you want to put it, uh, install it onto your chart. You could also go back and press hide all so that you don't have so many again. And you can also just search for US 30. Okay, so now I can drag US 30 over just by searching for it. Okay, so now you should have a chart on your screen. Now, at the beginning of, uh, before we had the call, I sent you guys a link to a template that has all of our indicators on it so that you can install that template to your MetaTrader 5 so that your chart doesn't look like this, right? Even when I look at this right now, it means nothing to me and I'm kind of just lost. And so what we want is all of our indicators back, our EMAs and our TDI, et cetera. And so you're going to go to File, Open Data Folder, and then I told you to save that file onto your desktop. So on the left-hand side, you have a list here and it says desktop. You're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go find that file from your desktop. So it's called DeLorean with TDI. So here's mine right here, DeLorean with TDI. You're gonna right click on it and copy it. And then you're gonna click on this green backup arrow. You're gonna back up a screen. And then I want you to find the file called MQL5, double click on that. Then in that folder, I want you to find profiles, double click on that. Inside of profiles, click on templates. And now in here, this is where I want you to paste that file. And so mine's already pasted in here, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you just right click, say paste, and then ta-da, you'll have DeLorean with TDI. Once you've done that, you need to completely restart MT5. So you need to click on the red um, X at the top of your MT5. You need to click on it, completely close MT5. And then you need to go find it on your computer again and relaunch it. Which will take a second or two. Okay, there's the happy little MT5 sound. 
And so once that reopens for you and you have your chart, uh, another thing we can do is switch this to be one minute. So right now, this is a US 31 hour chart. I can click on this M1 here to get it to be a one minute chart. And then I'm gonna right click on the black screen and I'm gonna look in the middle of this list that popped up for templates. And then under templates, I'm gonna go find that file that we just installed, which was called DeLorean with TDI, click on it and ta-da. Now your screen should look familiar to you and have all the EMAs and TDIs that you're used to seeing on your chart and uh, not feel so lost, okay? And you can then from here, you can save this as a profile. So you can right click anywhere that's black on your chart. And then you're going to, actually, that's not correct. Sorry, you're going to go to file. And then you're going to go to profiles. And then you're going to go to save as. And you can call this US 30 one minute profile. You just US 30 one minute and press OK. And then now every different pair. So let's say that I wanted um, Hong Kong 50 to have the same chart. I can drag over Hong Kong 50. And now that same profile is automatically applied to it. So now that you have that installed, there's a few other things that I'll just show you about just actually using um, MT5. So you want to get used to look use, using this view folder, this view tab at the top. There's lots of different things that you need from out of here. So if you if you have your market watch window closed and you want to open a new pair, this is how you get your market watch to open again. Click on market watch and now you have your list of pairs. You can also go to view and open a window called navigator. So navigator, this is where you can see your accounts, different indicators, any expert advisors that you're using, et cetera, are all in this navigator window. Another window you'll eventually be using is uh, something called toolbox. So toolbox is where your trades that are open are gonna be showing, your history of your trades are gonna be showing, um, a mailbox from your broker, et cetera. Okay, a calendar of different news, all sorts of different things at the bottom down here. So you'll be using that window as well. Those are the three that I use the most, market watch, navigator, toolbox, also strategy tester. Eventually you might uh, use that some as well. Um, on your actual chart, you have a buy sell button at the top. So this is so that you can actually trade directly on your own broker, right? So this is your broker's feed. All of this pricing is actually your broker's feed. So you don't have to do those adjustments that we are doing on my call, you know, where you have to make sure you're, because you're not looking at your own broker on trading view. Now you are looking at your own broker on MT5. So you don't have to make some adjustments. You can press buy and sell right on here. Here's where you type in your lot size. Okay. You can also right click on your chart. And there is a trading panel here that you can come and click on trading, click on new order. And then a window pops up where you can enter your lot size, your stop loss, your take profit. And then you can either press buy or sell. So these are kind of shortcut buttons over here at the top, right? The buy sell buttons. This is a more, um, you know, like a, you can actually enter your stop loss and your take profit here. Okay, so it'll take some time to learn how to use MT5. It's not, it's not as user-friendly as TradingView. It'll take some time to learn how to stretch out your candles. It'll take some time to learn how to zoom in and out. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not super, super user-friendly. So just be patient with yourself and give yourself some time to learn how to, how to use it. Hey, let me know if anyone has any questions so far about anything that we've covered. Amy, you did it, success. Um, another nifty little thing that you can do is you can, um, you can split your, your screen into multiple different screens. So you could open a few different US 30 windows so that you have say, let's say the one minute, five minute, 15 minute 
um, all open on your screen. So if you drag four different boxes for US 30 over to your, to your screen, and we'll get rid of this Hong Kong one that we definitely don't need. Okay, and then there's a box up here that you can press that has like kind of like a grid with four different pictures. If you press this, it'll automatically split these boxes up into four equal pictures. And then I could make the top one say the one minute, the one beside it the five minute, the bottom the 15 minute, and then the other bottom right hand side is the one hour. And now right now they don't have your templates on them, but you can go click here and say, templates and you can load that template onto each of them and so all of these will now have your DeLorean template on them and then again you could save this as a new profile if you want so that when you load this profile that you'll have four different US 30 windows you can come to file come to save oops not save sorry file profiles save as and you could say four us 30 windows and then you can open that file and then you'll just instantly have all four of these windows at the same time um no you don't need to load your template in every time you've logged in it should automatically take you back to that template when you close mt5 and you reopen it Good job, Shelly and Dennis, you got it. Okay, that's kind of what I figured, Franny. I was really surprised that it was letting you log into a, to MT5 with an MT4 account. So that makes sense to me that that wasn't working quite right. Um, no, you don't have to leave MT5 open all the time. Like you can just open it up only when you're trading if you want to. Um, it is quite a, it's a big program and takes quite a bit of, I don't know, operating space. Depends on the size of your computer. If you want to leave it open or not all the time. Resources. Thanks, Leah. That's the, that's the word I was looking for. You've always got my back with these computer techie words. <laughs> Okay, let me know if anyone else has any questions. All right, I don't see any more questions and nobody's unmuted themselves. Um, so we'll call this video um, an end for today, but if you have any questions, of course, just reach out to me. Um, but thanks for tuning in to another episode of Catch You on the Pip Side, and we will see you soon.